Space Telescope, already a monument to human ambition and engineering precision, has once again shaken the scientific world with an observation that is close to unimaginable. Amid the silent depths of interstellar space, it has detected what appears to be artificial light emanating from the three atlas designated object. A celestial visitor traveling through our solar neighborhood on a hyperbolic trajectory similar to the well-known interstellar objects Oumuamua and Borisov. This time, however, the data gathered by Webb's instruments defy easy categorization. What should have been a cold, inert rock drifting through cosmic emptiness instead glows faintly but persistently with a spectrum and temporal pattern suggesting the light is not natural in origin. The discovery has cast a profound and eerie light across the scientific community, sparking debates that stretch far beyond the boundaries of astrophysics. Astronomers are continuing to track the new object, most likely a comet from outside our solar system. The interloper, named 3I Atlas, was first spotted on July 1st. When the James Webb Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward 3I Atlas, astronomers expected to find a small interstellar body of rock, perhaps a remnant composed of ice and dust from another system of stars passing through the void. But the photometric data soon revealed an anomaly that could not be dismissed as reflection or sublimation. The light from the object pulsed at intervals to regular to be random, and emission lines were present in its spectral profile, lines inconsistent with any known natural chemical luminescence. The light was barely visible against the background of cosmic radiation, but sufficiently distinct to persist over multiple observation periods. Webb's instruments, designed to detect the faintest infrared signals from the early universe, recorded a consistent signal pattern resembling structured light, modulated as though generated by a technological process. The first suspicion was instrumental error. The Webb Group meticulously recalibrated sensors, cross-checked data with the Hubble Space Telescope, and verified observations with ground-based observatories. Yet every confirmation only deepened the mystery. The signature remained the same, a steady, soft beat in the infrared range, repeating at exact intervals over several days of observation. When Webb's near-infrared spectrograph analyzed the frequency spread and energy distribution was revealed that bore a closer resemblance to a controlled emission source, something akin to the kind of light used in advanced propulsion systems or artificial illumination designed to function in the vacuum of space. It lacked both reflection and thermal radiation. It was structured, coherent light, the kind that nature rarely produces without assistance. Scientists began comparing the data to all known or oral phenomena, natural emissions, outgassing events, ionization trails, or reflective glints from tumbling surfaces. None fit. The object's trajectory, already established as interstellar, ruled out the possibility of it being human-made debris. The illumination's energy output was to stable to come from sublimation or spontaneous chemical reactions. Curiously, the light seemed to respond little two shifts in solar flux, as if compensating for external light levels, maintaining a nearly constant output despite changes in sunlight. This adaptive behavior, subtle though it was, marked the first truly alarming indicator that what Webb was observing might not be a mere chunk of rock at all. The Atlas object itself had been catalogued months earlier as an unremarkable visitor from another galaxy. Its orbital parameters indicated it came from the direction of the Lyra constellation, moving at an enormous velocity unlikely ever to return. It was only during a follow-up survey, an attempt to study its composition in infrared, that the strange luminescence was spotted. The faint glimmer appeared as a near-field emission in the narrow-band infrared spectrum, centered around wavelengths typical of engineered diodes or laser systems. At first, some researchers suggested it might be the result of fluorinating exotic minerals under cosmic radiation. Yet this hypothesis crumbled when the periodic modulation became clear. 
natural fluorescence doesn't switch on and off in exact repeating cycles. Within the scientific community, disbelief gave way to cautious awe. Meetings at NASA, ESA, and the Space Telescope Science Institute were charged with both excitement and apprehension. If confirmed, the detection would represent the first empirical evidence of technology from the stars, a sign that not only had intelligent life appeared elsewhere, but had also created something enduring enough to survive interstellar drift. The implications were awe-inspiring. Artificial light implies energy control, design, and purpose. Even if the source were derelict, a fragment of a civilization long dead, its mere existence would alter humanity's narrative of the universe. The light from 3i Atlas was not bright enough for the naked eye to see even through large telescopes, but Webb's instruments could break it apart with extraordinary precision. Using an infrared camera, astronomers detected subtle variations in intensity, while mid-infrared instruments revealed faint heat signatures inconsistent with any natural body of its size. The object appeared warmer than expected for something so far from any star. Its temperature hovered slightly above what physics predicts for a rock drifting through the cold void between stars. This extra, though minimal, heat suggested either enduring energy or ongoing power generation. 